Well, it is time for another season to begin of Antler Geeks. It's uh, first week of September. And what we're going to do today is kind of take you through a day in the life of the Antler Geeks. Uh, myself and Tyler Ridenauer are here in my uh, home office. This is Antler Geeks HQ. And when we started Antler Geeks, our whole um, kind of focus was we wanted to bring some reality back into the world of deer hunting media and uh, I live very much in that world as a, as a writer and an editor and I'm as much into the industry as any of the antler geeks I guess my job is more in line what you might expect um, our jobs to be but it's not what you think it is and that's what we wanted to kick off the season with to show that what we say about living in you know the real world and hunting reality based situations it's not made up it's not fake so that's what we're gonna go through today we're gonna show you what we have to do like I said it's the first week of September and here's some admissions that might surprise you um, if you expect us to be a big budget you know deer hunting program I don't have any tree stands out the only tree stands that I have left are the ones that are left from last season that I didn't get time to get down um, we're going to go through my hit list of bucks. I think that might surprise you a little bit. We're going to show you what we have to get done You know, every day. It's uh, about 10 a.m. right now, and we started a little bit before 7. Started off by taking my kids to school like I do every day. We have a whole list of stuff to run through. Um, I've got some Realtree stories i got to write, uh, some posts on Realtree.com i got to make. I have a couple outdoor life pieces I have to work on. We have a shot list of about 15 to 20 items that we got to get done for video work for Antler Geeks. We have a lot to do, not very much time to do it um, because I have football practice with my son this evening just like I do five nights a week. So we're going to get back to work and we're going to show you a day in the life of an Antler Geek. Maddie. Hey. Maddie. You're like messing up the shop because I can hear you snore. She doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care at all. Emergency where you're locked down in the hall. You're going to have time to go to your locker and screw around with your combination. Well, I have my combination now. Wait, so why do we have to do your everyday life, Dad? Because I'm a celebrity. Oh. Um, excuse me, that's my job. No trouble. Oh, try. Alright, so just got back from lunch, and this has kind of been the standard procedure here in the last couple of weeks. About three days a week after lunch, I'm heading out and grabbing trail camera cards, and uh, that's, I mean, that's been the extent of my scouting. If you can kind of look around, you can see it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, I decided that I wanted to redo some siding on my house, and somehow that turned into redoing all the siding, all the trim. The entire roof <coughs> and the whole roof line so so far this summer uh, I've done I don't know what it was 40 some square of shingles and 35 squares of siding in the spare time which has usually been on the weekends and a couple hours after work in the evening so it's I mean when we say this is real uh, this is what I mean this is uh this is the extent of my preseason scouting so far so I gotta take off my homemade sprayer that I've been doing my few food plots with and we're gonna head over to the ranch and I'll show you the ranch when we get there so Well, 
I'm known as the land baron of the antler geeks because I own 17 acres and I'm the largest landowner on the antler geeks crew so we don't have big places that we hunt and while I do own this this is only the second year I've owned it um, it's it's got a long ways to go before it's gonna be a really good spot and literally I have two trail cameras on it I have two trail cameras on another place that I hunt that I haven't checked since I put them out um, almost a month ago actually I, ch I checked it once and there was nothing on it but does and fawns so you know I don't have an army of interns and staff that are checking my cameras for me and going out in the evenings and getting velvet footage and scouting I haven't spent one evening glass and fields and it's three weeks away from both season um, I have no idea if I have any bucks yet to hunt my hit list is zero unless there's something on this card which we'll check and I get back to the office Tyler doesn't have a place to hunt right now in Michigan no bucks on his hit list not even a place to go um, Adam has his parents three or four acres that he's gonna hunt no idea what's there um, Ryan might not get to hunt much because he has to work all the time this is reality I'm sure this sounds like we're totally unprepared but I think this is the the type of situation that a lot of people find themselves in the difference is when it gets down to it we find a way to get the job done we did it last year we did it the year before we did it our first season we're not panicked we're serious and we're going to make it happen but this is how life is right now this is the amount of time that we have to scout this is the amount of ground that we have to hunt we're gonna hunt a bunch of public land and we're gonna hunt places that are heavily pressured we don't have a hit list right now we don't have a game plan except to hunt hard and figure it out as we go He didn't make it 30 yards inside the room. Oh my God. 